Hi, here's the longest former I know, and this is ES Einsteinium. Triangles are great. There are so many things you can do with a triangle, like make hexaflexagons, or have a triangle party. But back to maths. We've all heard of this guy, right? Pythagoras. You know where this a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's rubbish. You suck. Stop. He isn't boring and neither is his theorem. He might have been a weird psychotic killer and are afraid of beans, but that's not my video. I'm here for this formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. To understand its uses, we need to understand its past. Okay, let's say you have a rectangle. A simple 3x4 rectangle. We're going to draw a line for it because, hey, we all love lines. But how long is this line? Well, if we use our rectangle to make a box with a hole in the middle, we can see that there is a box, and there's a nice new box on the inside. So we're going to work out the area of this new square, and as it is a square, its area is x squared. And so if we square root that, we'll have our missing side. Let's start by getting the area of the big square. So we have a 3, 4, together they make 7, and on this side 2 is also 7, and we're going to time them together because square numbers are awesome. 49 is our magic number. Now for the middle part. We're simply going to subtract the extra triangles from around the square. Now we know that two of these triangles make one of our rectangles, and we have four triangles, so that's two rectangles. Each rectangle is 3 times 4, so that's 12. That's minus 24 from our 49, and boom, 25. Now we simply square root that, and we have 5. Fluke! Fluke? What do you mean, fluke? Okay, let's do it with a 5 by 3. So we're going to make our square again, so 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Now subtract our two rectangles, each of 15, and we get 34. Square root 34 and we get our answer. But what if it's like 2859 by 10463? Okay, I'll generalize that for you. Okay, we're going to have a, a, B, and a C. We set up the square, and on the one side we have A plus B. And we're going to square that so we get the big square. So we've got in brackets A plus B squared. Now for our four triangles. If one rectangle is A times B, and there's two of them, so that's 2AB, we have to minus that from our brackets. So we have brackets, A plus B, squared, minus 2AB. Now we're going to simply expand these brackets, so we get A squared plus 2AB plus B squared minus 2AB. And this is all equal to C squared. We're going to simplify that down and get A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Almost like magic. So what? This is all math. I'm never going to use it ever again. Oh, how wrong you are. Lots of jobs use this theorem. Number one, the most common one, would be architecture. So you think you can draw. Then what are you using to draw that nice roof on your square house? Hmm? Number two would be navigation. Navy ships use this to work out how far in a direction they need to go. For example, a ship is told to go four miles north, three miles east. That's five miles in the bearing of 036.86. Then we have geologists with their earthquake locating, crime scene investigators with bullet trajectory, missile trajectory, and maybe some others. This is important, and you should not ignore your boring teacher. Well, maybe if they wear socks and sandals and tuck their ties into their pants. So not only was Pythagoras a genius, he was a weird psychotic cult leader killer. Check out Weihart's videos on triangles, hexaflex guns, and most importantly Pythagoras for more information on them. I'm the eccentric scientist. Pythagoras is my favorite mathematician. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe for more videos. Ta-ra for now.